afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon again. Good afternoon. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm the operations manager for Royal Entertainment, and uh, we are an entertainment, entertainment company, and uh, we came together with Wanyama with the idea of trying to give back to the society. So we teamed up uh, with the Wanyamas, and uh, we came up with the idea of the tournament. This tournament is targeting, obviously, the under-16s. We've started now in Nairobi, and uh, from, it's going to be an annual tournament from now on. And um, next year, we're planning to do it in all the counties in Kenya. And uh, we hope um, we get support from you guys. I'll also, I would also want to thank um, companies that have come on board to support our initiative who we didn't have a lot of time to make the decision and make it happen. So I'd like to give thanks to companies like NHIF, who have seen our vision and decided to jump on board to help and give back to the society. I'd like to thank Coca-Cola as well, Safaricom, and uh, not forgetting KICC to offer us the facilities and um, supporting our initiative. Um, we are Royal Entertainment. We do entertainment, but our entertainment is not necessarily just on the music side. So we are also involved, as you can see, with the society. And we think football is a great way of getting to the youths and passing messages. Thank you very much. Um, afternoon, everyone. Um, First of all, I would like to thank the sponsors, Safaricom, uh, KICC, Coca-Cola, and uh, NHIF. Not forgetting also St. Mary's for uh, hosting, uh, for agreeing to host the tournament. So um, we, are, we are really, really grateful for that. And um, for this uh, tournament, is something that we have been thinking for a very long time. And... Um, uh, it has been in my head, so I just uh, had to come come out and do it because you know sometimes you think too much and you don't you don't do anything. But this time round, I I wanted to do something, so uh, we sat down and uh, we decided to come out and uh, try and help the kids. So these kids, uh, by helping them, we decided to come up with the with this program, put up the tournament, set up the tournament, which is the uh, Wanyama Royal uh, uh, Charity Cup. Uh, why charity? Because also we want to help them, uh, maybe uh, sponsoring them in schools, putting them in schools, uh, try to support them, not only football. So I think this is something good because, you know, um, we know the program that ran on TV, that um, a lot of um, talented players end up in a committee, in prison. So we don't want a repeat of that. So that's why we are trying to uh, nurture the talent and also give them opportunity to go to school. I uh, try to support them as well, so this is why we came up with the um, idea. And um, I'd like to thank everyone here for showing up uh, today. So hopefully we will support the initiative and uh, thank you. Thank you for coming. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Uh, for me, uh, just to thank the KICC for the host and uh, our sponsors, NHIF, uh, Safaricom, and um, Royal Entertainment, and Coca-Cola for, for helping us on this uh, small tournament. Uh, I think uh, uh, maybe in uh, coming years, we'll be, we'll be doing big things uh, for 47 counties. So I think we'll, we'll get the, uh, uh, the, the more talented kids uh, out of the Kenya. So I think we will help them to, to nurture their talents and, uh, and education. So they'll do both, uh, both things. Uh, they'll do education and, uh, and talents. Because you have to, education is the first, is the key. Then maybe you can get injuries, you can get this, you cannot continue with football. Maybe you can go for education. So I think this initi initiative is a good thing for the kids. That's all I can say. Thank you. Uh, wanyama siku ya leo ni siku kubwa kwako na kwa wale vijana walio kuchini ya meka kumina sita. Unaza sema nini kwa kiswa ili uh, kusu ikikombea uh, wanyama haro yaka? 
nafikiria hii ni uh, tournament ya kwa kujaribu ku support um, vijana kwenye mtaa na kujaribu kuwapatia nafasi pia <coughs> ya ku ya ku nini ya ku um, kukuza talent zao na pia tukiangalia pale ni kwamba kuna vijana wenye walioko chini ya miaka 16 wewe mwenyewe wanakuangalia sana ni nini wasu unawaletea kutoka isipokuwa kupata ile zawadi ya kukuwa nambari wa kwanza nafikiria kuna kuna vitu mbalimbali tunataka kuwasaifanyia labda kuwasaidia kwenye mashule kulipia ada za shule alafu pia kuangalia vile wanaendelea na, na mpira na pamoja na masomo na sasa tukiangalia sasa oh, yeah. swali la mwisho wewe kama naodha wa timu ya Harambe Stars unaweza sema nini kulingana na mchezo wetu saizi uh, juzi tumeshindwa huko India uh, tu kuna michezo zingine tunafaa tucheze na pia ukiangalia katika uh, zile timu tano zilizocheza katika nafsi ya Afrika huko Russia hawakuweza kufanya vizuri wewe kama naodha unaweza sema nini kuhusu mchezo wa kandanda ya Afrika nafikiria Afrika uh tunajaribu sana maana yake tuna team less kwenye World Cup lakini progress tuna tunaona inaanza kuja polepole alafu pia hapa Kenya facilities zinaanza kuingia pia polepole kwa hivyo uh, muda kwa muda mfupi tunafikiri tutakuwa tutakuwa vizuri na ya mwisho kwa kabisa nimekumbuka kwamba labda uliona uh, betraying the game Uh, story ya uh, Aden Marwa na Marefari tu wengi uh, uh, katika continent ya Afrika. Wewe kama mchezaji unaweza sema nini kulingana na nidhamu ya waamuzi? Uh, ma, Kuongelelea hapo si ziongelelea sana maana yake siku sikusikia mimi nilisikia tu rumors sijui kitu iliyotendeka lakini uh, nafikiria kama mchezaji unajua lazima uangalie pande zote mbili nini ilifanyika. Kwa hivyo hapo mimi naweza sema sina la kusema bana. Sasa leo ni siku muhimu sana kwenu na kwa vijana walioko chini ya miaka 16. Uh, ukiangalia katika mchezo yetu ya uh, kandanda unaweza sema nini kwa hasa katika mchezo kama ya vijana? Uh, mchezo ya vijana naona naona inaendelea vizuri, watu wanaendelea kuimprove na hii tournament ni baadhi ya kufanya vijana wa improve more na waweze kuonekana eh, kwamba vijana wa kuna vijana wale wanaweza kucheza mpira vizuri yeah na sasa mkianzisha sasa mchezo kama huu wa wanyama Royal Cup unaweza sema nini kuhusu na wale vijana pia wengine wangependa kuicheza na walioko katika county ya Nairobi eh, kwa sasa hii wanyama eh, Royal Charity Cup ni 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 tournament tuna tumeanza sasa ndio tumeanza na tuna na Nairobi peke yake na imekuwa very short time kufikia timu zote but tumepata timu mingi within Nairobi za kila pande madhare wapi wapi tumezipata so lengo kubwa ni kuanzia mwaka ujao tunataka ku target all 46 47 counties tuko tuna tournament sasa so, so itakuwa kila county inacheza tournament alafu wanachagua vijana wazuri then 47 hizo 47 teams zitakuja Nairobi zichuane hapa Nairobi. Yeah. Na tukiongelea hao vijana mliweza kuwachagua kwa njia gani? No vijana wali vitu ilitangazwa kwa radio kila mtu alikuwa ana ana ule alisikia alikuwa anatoa team na wale tunawajua mtaani tulikuwa tunawaambia. So kila mtu alitoa team na tuliwapatia deadline. So ukirejesta wa kwanza uko na first priority. Ukikuja wa mwisho kama una team hapo e, bahati ni mbaya kwa sababu tuliko tuliko tuna target 16 but watu walikuja wengi tukaweka 24 sasa yeah. juma iliyopita niliona kijana anaicheza mpira kama nyenye Michael Lunga pia alikuwa na mchezo kama huu ndugu yako wanyama aliweza kufika pale nyenye pia ndio hawameanzisha kuna uh, mfano mnaweza kupea wachezaji wengine ama hii ni yenu tu wawili alafu na wanyama peke yake hapana hii ni hii ni tulianza ni kama eh, Olunga alianza yake hiyo ni ilikuwa ya tournament lakini ilikuwa ya, ya, ya under 16 ilikuwa ya watu kawaida so i think hii hii na tuna, lengo ni tujue hao vijana wale wako na talent wajitokeze yeah na sasa nisipoku tusipongelea uh, kikombe hiki tu uh, huu ni mwezi wa mchezo wa World Cup na ningependa sana niisikie uh, mwisho tuliongea na wanyama kule uh, katika kampu ya sport uh, super sport alisema kwamba 
alikuwa na dhani Senegal na Nigeria wangefika mbali uh, kufikia saa hii tunasema hadithi uh, isikuwe hiyo sasa wewe unaweza sema nini kuhusu mchezo wa Afrika na jinsi uh, timu za Afrika zilivyofanya huko Russia Tunaweza sema ni timu za Afrika zilifanya vizuri hata Nigeria wakitolewa na Argentina Argentina walikuwa wamefanya vizuri walikuwa wakidraw wanaenda but eh, football hauwezi hauwezi jua 90 minutes hauwezi jua nini inaweza happen So I think walifanya vizuri but next time tunaongezewa ma I think uh, Africa watatoa timu mingi. I think hiyo itakuwa kitu kitu mzuri. Yeah. Na sasa miaka ndio labda watu wengi wanasema ilifanya hizo timu za Afrika hazikuweza kuingia katika round ya 16. Unaweza sema nini kuhusu timu yetu ya Rambe Stars na pia hiyo uh, kukuwa tu na uzoefu wa kucheza michezo kama hizo World Cup. No I think uh, Rambe Stars sasa uh, pole pole kwa sababu najua vijana kuna vijana wako sawa wanaweza wanaweza wakilisha inchi vizuri so i think with time tutapia sita tutafika tuta, 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 hapo with time yeah. yeah thank you